with my Mac D. You see, we different in the way we move. You move with kit and your dog. I move with bears and bull. I got a green thought. I grow with the marijuana. Waking up with the fun. Oh, some commas. Jump out of bed, big profits. Eat my bacon and eggs, make profits. Light up, watching them candles, profits. While I'm still in my sand, making profits. They used to watch me move them pets and die. Now I watch moves in the NASDAQ drive. Used to run from the ATF and them cops. Now I run down ETL, make profits. I jump out of bed, make profits. Eat my bacon and eggs, make profits. Light up, watching them candles, profits. While I'm still in my sand, making profits. Yeah. Yeah. See, me and Jim Cramer been talking mad money. He said today I'm taking a risk. They got the feds coming, but I got support here with me. I call a short squeeze. You get the drop, she pull the trick, and abort these. If she stay on my watch list, I might have to wife her. But I know better. I'm a true trading group of life. Call up the Wolf of Weed Street. It's time to flip some profits. Go ahead, be hawking. Get your spot here. I'll double top that, but then the head and shoulders. Hit him up with this resistance. Watch him roll over. Cause I see John Wicks in contract. If I say I make a million a day, well, that's a large cap. 
you moving ass, that's why you get crossed Get split, get D-list and knocked off And I'm setting the whole block off I'm buying gang stock and selling them Roblox off I jump out of bed, make profits Eat my bacon and egg, make profits Light up, watching them game, make profits While I'm still in my sand, making profits They used to watch me move them packs Stop. Now I watch moves in the NASDAQ Used to run from the ATF and the cops Now I run down ET hey, my make family profits. Hey, go, what we doing, my man? Hey, make profits Hey, Shug, Mike, what we doing? Hey, make profits Yo, Wolf, Professor, what we doing? Hey, make profits That TTG money game hey, make profits We some snipers Hey, yo, what's up? Hey, everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the True Trading Group live stream. My name is Michael Edward Paranati. I go by Michael Edward. I'm the co-founder and head trader of True Trading Group. And in case you didn't know, we are a Benzinga FinTech Awards finalist for best data analysis tool. And we're also the fastest growing and highest rated premium online educational platform and community that combines university level professional and trading courses with mentorship and guidance and real-time trade alerts from nine, eight, I'm sorry, eight professional trading moderators. We day trade, we swing trade. We also cover long-term investing. We do stocks, options, crypto, and even futures. There's something literally for everybody here inside of True Trading. For those of you that are working busy full-time jobs, don't stress it because we have a mobile app system that will allow you guys to receive real-time push notifications when our moderators enter and exit their trades in real time. No more chasing trade alerts. You guys will know the exact moment that one of our traders enters or exits one of their positions. You will also be getting access to thousands of the most educated, helpful, supportive, and successful community of traders. That is the TTG family. All of our members, hands down, the best traders that you guys are ever going to be able to experience, not to mention the real-time trade alerts, like I said, from the eight professional trading moderators and myself that have been able to maintain a cumulative win rate on all of our executions of just around 80% now going on roughly the last four years. If you're wondering why you should listen to anything it is that I discuss and cover on this channel, it's because I did not figure this stuff out on my own or watching YouTube channels or sitting in Discord chats. I began my trading career working at T3 Alpha Fund in New York City, my first job right out of college where I had to go through a training program before they let me touch $1 of their money. Then 2008 happened. That was the Great Recession, the big stock market crash. But it's also the same year I received one of the firm's Trader of the Year awards. Now, you guys just fast forward. I'm the co-founder and head trader of TTG. And like I said, along with my team of eight professional trading mods and an over 30 person staff, we have helped thousands of members from all over the world reach their goals. We have members in 115 different countries, truly a global community here at True Trading Group. So if you are ready to learn, trade and profit for real, you have all come to the place. Six nights a week, Sunday through Friday, we go live on this channel with myself, other TTG Pro Trading Mods, and special guests will drop golden nuggets, give you free lessons, education, trade ideas, and commentary that can help you all become better traders. So if you've not yet done so, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, make sure that you do not ever miss out on any of these live streams. Crazy day in the markets today. Markets are way stronger today than I than I anticipated them to be. You got CPI inflation data today, and it was a mixed bag. It really was a mixed bag. Um, you know, we did a live stream here yesterday, and I went over very specific scenarios with you guys on what the market's reaction would be based on what the CPI's data was. And you got some areas of inflation that were higher than expected, others that were in line with expectation, and some areas that were higher than expectations, but were still lower than what they were last month. So even though you got a higher than expected core number, it is lower though from the month prior. And that is really the biggest piece of the inflation read that we got here today. The Fed cares a lot more about core inflation. Core inflation is the big one. That's that's what we, we really do care about. That's the the inflation that the Fed can control. The Fed has no control over gas prices, oil, energy, food prices. And that's why they use the core number. The core factors out food and energy costs. The regular headline CPI number factors in all of those things. But the Fed pays the most attention to the core number. The core number is the one that is the higher number right now. So you've got regular headline inflation has been moving itself to the downside at a faster pace than the core inflation has been moving to the downside. And the numbers that came out today were an acceleration on the headline number, but a deceleration on the core number 
even though the core number was a little bit higher than what was expected, it showed that core inflation did not accelerate again like it did in January. So January, you got an acceleration in inflation, meaning it was higher than it was in December. And then February's numbers you got today, which were lower than January's numbers on the core side. And that's where the markets moved to the upside. I'm a little surprised to see us go this high up to 517 because the inflation was still higher than what was expected, but it did show that there was no acceleration in inflation. And that is what the markets were the most concerned with. So once the markets got that, hey, hey, yes, is it hotter than expected? Slightly by one tenth of a percent, but it is moving in the right direction. And that saw the markets pump to the upside. What I was the most surprised with was the fact that you saw the probability of a rate cut in June actually go down when the CPI number came out, but the market still went up. And that, to be honest with you, I was surprised to see that. That's not something that I would have anticipated to see, that the odds of a rate cut in June go down, but the equity market still goes up. I would have thought if you asked me yesterday that if the probabilities of a cut in June came down, what would the equity markets have done? I would not have said we would have gotten to 517. So when we were live with our members inside of chat, as we always are each and every single day, I said that I was like, okay, well, if that, you know, what based on what this num this the CPI numbers that we got, I think maybe 515 would be a nice little area for us to bump up against and go go through and test. We got to 515, we surpassed 515, and now actually right now, even in the after hours, trading at 517. And we are a stone throw away from that all-time high, basically just knocking up against that all-time high, about a buck away from all-time highs. And it certainly looks like the markets might want to even test or try to take that out as early as tomorrow, as there is no economic data on the docket for tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're going to be able to trade on purely technicals, folks. And then Thursday is going to be the PPI number. So let's talk, let's talk about actually... Um, let's talk about what these actually CPI numbers were. So here's what I'm here's what I'm talking about. The core year over year number was expected to be 3.7. It came in at 3.8, but last month it was 3.9. So that's not showing you an acceleration, right? The core month over month number was expected to be 0.3. It came in at 0.4. The last month was also 0.4. So again, not showing you an acceleration in inflation. The headline number, this is where you did get some acceleration. But remember, the Fed right now cares more about the core number. And that was proven today with the price action you got in the markets. The actual headline CPI number year over year, now this is the number that does include uh, food and energy prices, was expected to be 3.1. It came in at 3.2. Last month, it was 3.1. The month over month headline number, again, this is the one that includes food and energy prices, was expected at 0.4, came in at 0.4. The last month was 0.3. So you see how the inflation numbers were kind of a mixed bag today, some higher than expected, some in line with expectations, some accelerated, some decelerated, some stayed the same. That's not really an inflation read that would scare the markets into thinking that the Fed is caught between a rock and a hard place. It's actually a pretty, pretty ugly type of, when I say ugly, I don't mean ugly like it's bad. I mean, it's pretty ugly as a far sense. It's almost like if you were to compare it to price action, you'd be like, oh, it's like choppy, where it's like, oh, that's some good, that's some bad, that's some exactly what was expected. It's kind of like, okay, you can make an argument bullish or bearish based on that CPI number. And I just think that it wasn't enough to break down what has been a very strong technical rally in this market to start off 2024. 2024 is moving to the upside based on a very clearly defined technical channel. We've been talking about it on the stream here for the last several weeks. And I'll draw it out for you guys just so we can see it here again, in case you guys have missed it. Here is this beautiful, beautiful upward sloping channel that the SPY has been holding to. And we got down into the bottom end of that channel over the last two days. And the bottom end of that channel 
has officially held. And you can see, look at all of this support here. Every time that we have gotten to the bottom end of this channel, you see we get this nice little bounce and that trend line continues as the SPY continues its stair step move to the upside. This really is not a parabolic move in the market. It is a very clearly defined channel that has stair step type moves. There are a couple of pullback days that are mixed in here. Not many, but you have a couple of pullback days mixed in here. It's not just green, 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 right? It's kind of mixed in. Um, and I'm a little surprised to see the markets as high as they are today. But nonetheless, here we are, all right? Here we are up here, 517.40 is the high of the day today. And guys, I got news for you. 518.22, that's your all-time high, right? I'll draw it. Here's our, here, I'll do the line. There it is. That's your all-time high. Look where we are. We're right at it. So it certainly seems like we're looking at probably a new all-time high tomorrow. If we're able to just trade off of technicals tomorrow, I mean, granted, there's, you know, Brian, there's no like, you know, piece of news or anything like that that ends up coming through. I would expect this uptrend to just kind of continue and just try to actually go up there and print a new all-time high and push up towards 520. Um and just continue to stay inside of this channel. And if you get to the top end of the channel, then I think let's just kind of continue to try to just trade this channel. And that's all that we need to really look for is just try to trade the channel. You know, I think this is something that we're going to be able to really take advantage of tomorrow. Um, I come on the market, come on and I discuss and sort of the other moderators, it's not just like I said, TCG is not just me. There's eight professional traders that are with you during the day that do this for a living. And we all have different styles. Some of us day trade, some of us swing trade, some of us trade equities, some trade options, some trade futures. So there really is something for everybody here inside TDG. And I think it's important for traders to actually get exposure to a variety of different trading styles rather than just learning one trader style, because no two people are built the same. No two traders are built the same. Your personality actually has a pretty big impact on the type of trader that you are and the strengths and weaknesses that you'll naturally just have based on your personality when it comes to specific trading strategies. And certain styles will be um, your, you know, certain styles will be more conducive to your personality versus others. Like you may not be, you know, being a scalper may not work for your personality versus being a swing trader also may be better for you than, you know, day trading or scalping based on your personality. And these are things that we cover in TTG going over trader identity and what style is best for you. But today we had a lot of really great conversations inside of chat. And I really got my, my hat goes off to the moderators in true trading group, because we have such an incredible team of, really damn good traders. And guys, I got to be honest with you. I, I've, listen, I worked on a trading floor in New York. I've, I've sat next to some amazing traders. Um, literally. <laughs> I mean, I've sat next to other traders that have won, won awards. I've sat next to, you know, traders that were actually featured and published on the, the cover of Trader Magazine. I mean, and, and I really do truly believe that the team of traders that we have in your trading group is some of the best traders that I've ever seen. And it's proven each and every single day inside of TTG that no matter what this market does, no matter if we move higher, if we move lower, if we move sideways, we've got traders with styles that are beneficial for any type of market environment, whether it's a bull market, a bear market, or a sideways market, or an upside down market. I don't care what it is. It seems like every single day we are finding opportunities in this market whether it's a 50 to 100% gain on an option trade, or if it's a small cap breakout, or if it's a long or a short, if it's a futures trade, if it's a zero DTE option scalp, whatever it is. But I cannot remember a single trading day where we didn't have really great opportunities to make money. Like as a group, I'm talking about, obviously like individual people will have red days, right? Like even the moderators will have red days. I mean, I'll have, I have red days. I'm a human being, right? The, the other moderators are human beings. They'll have red days. No one's going to be just green every single day for the entire year. But as a group with the eight professional traders that we have, I can't remember a day where we just like, everybody just sucked. 
<laughs> you know, like where nobody was able to find opportunities in this market. I can't remember a single day. And today was no different. Today was no different, whether it was call options on the semiconductor ETF of SOXL, if it was a zero DTE scalp, if it was a swing trade from, from the other day for a stock that had earnings and give you a big, big 10% gap up today, or if it was a short on Boeing that's been just, you know, or a short on the solar sector, you know, the solar sector has been really weak or Boeing that has just been just bombarded with negative news release after negative news release after negative news release. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. I got to take a sip of water. I'm like choking on myself. Sorry. <clears throat> so regardless of either one of those trades, so these are just trades that actually took place inside of chat today. <clears throat> There's opportunities everywhere in this market for people to make money. And no matter where you look, <clears throat> If you're a small cap trader, a mid cap trader, a large cap trader, if you're trading crypto, you trade futures, there's opportunity in every single corner of this market. And I know I've said in the past before about this being the greatest, most opportunistic market environment that I've ever seen. I've been doing this for 18 years. And, you know, I came into today thinking, okay, if a CPI number that comes out today is an acceleration, which today wasn't, you didn't really get an acceleration. The core, core numbers did not accelerate. Core numbers actually decelerated and stayed the same, right? So there was no acceleration in the core inflation number. That's, I think, the reason why the market's been tired. But I was thinking, if you did get an acceleration, that's going to open things up for a lot of volatility in this market. That did not happen today. So I think that you are free now to just continue to trade the channel. And continue to trade the channel until you get another fundamental catalyst that is coming up. We have two big ones that are coming up. And I think it's going to take a fundamental catalyst in order for this channel to break. Because if left to trade on technicals, this channel, I think, holds. So you have the PPI number coming up on Thursday. And then you have the Fed meeting next week. Okay, the Fed meeting is on the 20th. Way to go, my boy, Bruce. Now we're talking. Mike, thanks to your analysis. I made money on the SPY from the low of the day at that 515.50 level. Boom, I love it. Yes. These levels have been so incredibly perfect. These levels have been so incredibly perfect. Um, what Bruce Sears is referring to, and I'll just, I'll take you guys to the charge just to show you. Let me delete some of this other stuff on the chart just to kind of clean this up. And I'll just show you exactly what Bruce Sears is talking about and what he's referring to. And then we'll go into more details on what I think the markets do tomorrow and how we plan on making money there. But here's here's what we were looking at with regards to the SPY today. So let's go to this is the pre-market action from today, this light gray data that's pre-market action right and then right there that's when the cpi number came out they see when the volatility picks up that's the cpi number okay so let's go to prior to the cpi number and then cpi number comes comes out and the market pushes there to the upside right so the game plan today inside of chat was well we're going to trade off the technicals now because that cpi data did not show an acceleration on core. And if, if you don't get an acceleration on core, then we'd look for the channel to continue trend. And where were we gonna look for possible support levels to continue trend and what's the trend? The trends to the upside. So what do we look for? You have a nice support level right there around 511.50. Okay, 511.50 to 511.25. And where do we get that from? These aren't just numbers that we just randomly pick out of thin air. These are levels and these are price points that have a significance. And if you look back at um, if you look back here at Friday's price action, the low of the day is right there at 511 and a half. Then you look at yesterday's price action, the high of the day is right there at 511 and a half. And then you look at the prior day's close is right there at 511.25. So you got 511.25 and 511 and a half. And that level creates a nice little area of structure for us. And when the market opens up, there's your CPI number, push it to the upside. Then, okay, the market's open. So then I see when it turns to dark black versus the light gray, that's the market open. So market opens, you drop right into that support level. And then what do you know? You find support and then the rest is history, right? The rest is history and the markets then continue their climb to the upside. So that's what Bruce Sears is referring to. That's the 
the tactical analysis that we give you guys at True Training Group. And this is something that you'll get every single morning before the market's open. And you'll get this live during the day from the eight professional traders because we share our screens with you. We're live talking to you on the microphone. We're not gone. <clears throat> We're not gone after an hour or two and you're just left to fend for yourself. <clears throat> the mods are with you each and every single trading day from pre-market through the close to answer questions, provide market commentary analysis, and obviously give you their executions and where their orders are placed. Thanks to Futures Training and Chad, I was able to get 40 plus points on the MES today with over 75% win rate for better living. Great job. Way to go seven with AJ. Seven with the J says, I hit that same action short on the ES. Great job, guys. Now we are talking. Now we are talking. So you see, like I said, we do have a futures trading program inside True Trading Group. Futures are excellent. I got to tell you, there's a lot of people that I don't think realize um, the benefits of trading futures. And I'll just kind of run that by you real quick. You didn't used to be able to trade futures unless you had a lot of money in your trading account. That has all changed. And then companies like Ninja Trader and Trade Abate have all made it possible for you to put just a couple hundred bucks in an account and start trading futures. We do have a futures trading program that's led by some phenomenal futures traders that are going through and trading each and every single trading session with our group. And for you to catch 40 plus points in a single day on the MES, what is over 75% win rate is incredible. Seven with the J also hit that action on ES versus MES. ES and MES, there's some differences there. I'll, we can talk about that another time. Um, it's really just a difference of leverage on the, on the futures contract. But with futures, there's no PDT rule. You don't have to worry about time decay like you do on options. It's a really great tool for people to trade, especially if you guys have small accounts where you can clearly define your risk. You don't have to worry about time decay, implied volatility, um, and any of those things that happen that come to come around with trading options or like lack of liquidity with options, futures. There's tons of liquidity at every single point, um, and you don't have no time decay, and there's also no PDT rule. Okay, so there is many, many, many benefits for people to trade futures here inside of TTG. All right. So today was a great day and I'm not surprised. Mike helped me on my confidence, which helped me get better entries and turn my winning trades better than my losers. I'm now slowly seeing the progress Way to go Brock. I love to see it. Yeah. We've got another, um, Yes, green day for me today. I'm learning more each and every day. Starting to feel like I'm reaching a prop to become a profitable trader. That is the goal, right? That's what you're here for. Everyone that's on this live stream, you're here for one very specific reason. It's to make money. You're not here because you're a Yankee fan too. You're here so that you can make money. And that's exactly what members of True Training Group are accomplishing. Don't just believe me because I say that to be true. Believe me because that's what members say to be true. I'll prove that to you. Members, do me a favor. My TTG team, if you guys are making money and you're becoming better traders with True Trading Group, I want you to go ahead right now and I want you to type the number one. If you are making money and you're becoming better traders, I want you to go ahead and type the number one. My boy Ozan Ferrati, I love it. I'm almost at my weekly goal again. We've only been trading for two days. Yes, I love it. Love it. Weekly goal met by Tuesday. I love it. Well, maybe Ozan, you take Thursday and Friday off, brother. You earned it. You take Thursday and Friday off. You earned it. Think about that for a second. What would you guys do? What would you guys do if you earned your entire weekly salary in two days? What would you do with the rest of the week? Right? What would you do? Right? What would you do with that? I don't know. I don't know. What would you do with that? What would you do with that time? But that's the reality of it, guys. That is the reality of it. Michael Dreher did not pay attention earlier. Michael Dreher, I'll talk about it again later on my explanation for you with the core CPI numbers. Because you got a deceleration on the headline CPI, the core CPI number. You got a deceleration. You had a slight acceleration on the month over month core CPI number, but it was in line with those expectations. 
So there was no surprise reacceleration in the core CPI number. That is exactly what that data means. And I said to you before we started this live stream that I'm surprised that the markets went all the way up to 517 today with that data. But you did not get a real reacceleration in core inflation. That is what the markets were worried about. It did not happen. You got a deceleration in the core year over year number. You got a 0.1 acceleration in the month over month number, but it was right in line with the expectations. Okay. So those are the facts. Know the facts. Know the stats. Know the reality of the situation. So there you guys have that. All right. How many people do we have that are on this live stream actually that are not members of True Trading Group? I am curious to see how many people that we have that are not members of True Trading Group. Go ahead and type the letters TTG, please. Just go ahead and type TTG if you guys are not members. Go ahead and type TTG, folks. Let's see. We've got Nick. We got Miles. We got a very smart guy. We've got Guy. We've got Carlos. CBR says they just subbed. Tony. My boy Johnny. Johnny Gutierrez, welcome back. Hell yeah, Armand. Yeah, Armand just joined yesterday and has already learned a lot in one day. Armand, I, I'm happy that you joined, man. I'm happy that you joined. I didn't really, I didn't get a chance to talk to you today inside of chat. I don't believe that I, I don't think we did. I don't think we spoke today in chat, but just became a member yesterday and already learned a lot in one day. Yeah, I'm excited for you, Armand. I'm excited for you becoming a new member of the TTG fam. <laughs> Take my wife and her <laughs> <laughs> the Mizzo, you cracked me up, man. You kill me. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. All right. So those of you. Nice. Way to go. A, a Yaka Emil says just joined. Beautiful. Just joined. Beautiful. Well, guys, listen, all of you that are not members of True Trading Group, okay, all of you that are not members of True Trading Group, this is what you guys can do. You guys can go ahead right now and you can pull up ttgoffer.com. Let's pull up ttgoffer.com. And then what you guys will see is that everything that you see on that page the things you see on that page are going to be included in your membership, okay? Now, that membership is normally $1,212. However, if you use the coupon code TTG121, click apply code, the price will drop all the way down to just $547, okay? So it'll be $547 for the whole year. What you see on that page is what is included, and your membership will renew at the $547, Okay. That annual membership will include our 22 course curriculum, which is a simplified and expanded upon version of what I learned working at the fund in New York. There's beginner courses, advanced courses, options, swing trading, trader psychology, crypto, you name it. We've got it. You have access to it as you, when you become a member of True Trading Group. There are no upsells for pro courses or additional courses that are going to cost you another thousand bucks after you join and have the special super top secret indicator in it. No, when you join, you get access to all of our courses, everything that you need to have the very best chance of becoming successful. You're going to get access to our chat room, plus all of the trade alerts from the eight professional traders that have been able to maintain a cumulative win rate of just around 80% now going on roughly the last four years. You'll get access to the mobile app that will allow you to be connected to chat, even if you're not in front of your computer. 
82% of our members have full-time jobs. They work over 40 hours a week and they are able to benefit from what takes place and follow along with what takes place inside of the TTG community because of that mobile app. You can see the screen share, you can listen to the audio commentary, and most importantly, get the real-time push notifications when our moderator's orders execute. You're going to get watch lists every day from our mods with detailed stocks on all of the stocks that we are focused on with entry and exit prices. So you know exactly where we plan on getting in and out of our positions. You're going to get two small mentor group sessions with our moderators to really help speed up your learning curve. You got access to the on-demand video library, which has over 600 hours of workshops, webinars, study groups, and you can interact with the moderators during that time and during that process as well. You got access to the premium blog. Remember guys, you join this community for the 547. It's all of our courses. It is all of the trade alerts. It's access to communicate with the 10,000 members that are part of this family from 115 different countries. And you are led each and every single day by not one, not two, not three, but eight full-time professional traders that are guiding you each and every single day, telling you exactly what they're buying, what they're selling, when, why, and for at what price. All you have to do is go to ttgoffer.com, use the coupon code TTG121, click apply code. The price then drops down to 547. Now, I know we talk a big game on these live streams, but the truth is we believe so strongly in this platform that we've created and we believe heavily and sincerely in its ability to help you reach your goals. So when you do join TTG, we offer you a double your money back guarantee. Yes, I'm being serious. It's right there on the checkout page. Go check it out. Go read it. It's in black and white. When you join TTG, I ask you to do the following. Go through our courses, pass the quizzes at the end of the courses, attend one study group. We do study groups every Thursday. Attend one. If you can do those things and you are still unable to make enough winning trades to equal the $547 membership fee, we will give you back double your money. So if you can't make back $547 at least one time during your membership, we will give you back $1,094. Okay. We will give you back $1,000. And we have to welcome Michael. We do have to welcome Michael. We do have to welcome Michael. Michael, welcome to the TGD family. I wasn't even done going through everything that I wanted to tell you about yet, but Michael just joined. We now have 29 of these spots left. I make enough from trading after joining these guys to make this my full-time job. I'm retired Navy. Demizo, thank you for your service. I love to hear that. Amen to that. Dawn says the only negative to true trading group is that you'll never want to trade solo ever again. I love it. I've had my monthly bills paid for in the first few days of each month from my futures trading profits. Amen there, Dawn. I love to hear that. That's what this is about. We're not here, guys. I mean, listen, do we all love mansions and Lamborghinis and fancy things? Of course we do. But guys, true trading group is really all about, it's all about supplementing your income, reaching a level of financial security and stability and freedom that you never thought was really possible. It's about never having to worry about what the price is at the pump. It's about not having to worry about the price of eggs, not having to worry about, you know, you got to put something back at the checkout counter because you're $50 over budget. It's about not having to worry about, am I, or am I not going to be able to send my kid to the university of their choice? You know, am I going to be able to retire while I can still walk on my own two feet? These are things that people really care about. These are things that people want to be able to improve. This is what people seek and is exactly what members of True Training Group are accomplishing and achieving. And in case you missed it before, I'll ask one more time just to show that to you and prove it to you. Guys, once again, just type the number one in chat. If you are a member and you're making money, you're becoming a better trader because of TTJ. If that's the case, I want you to type the number one. And for the rest of you that are on here that are not members, pay attention to how many people type one and then pull up TTGoffer.com. Use the coupon code TTG121. 
click apply code, the price will drop to 547. And if you go through our courses, you pass our quizzes and you attend one study group, you have the whole year to do that. So take your time, go at your own pace. And you are still unable to make enough winning trades to equal the $547 membership cost. If you can't do that at least one time, we will give you back $1,094. There are 29 spots remaining or midnight tonight, whichever one of those two things happen first. Once we sell out, the price is going to move up to 720. It is 547 right now. We are moving that price to 720. There are 29 spots left or midnight tonight, whichever one of those two things occurs first. That's $547. If you can't make it back, then the then we will give you guys back $1,094. That is the deal when you guys join TTG. If you have any questions at all or you maybe used to be a trial member or you used to be an annual member and you guys want to come back to the community. We have to just whitelist your email address. So send us a text message to 1-888-306-8783. Again, that is 1-888-306-8783. 1-888-306-8783. All right. We're fully transparent, folks. We are fully transparent. We are an open book. So any questions that you guys have, you can text that number. We'll answer anything it is that you would like to know. All right. Hell yeah, Ed. Ed says, I retired. This is one of the most fun things I've ever done. <laughs> Amen to that, Ed. Amen to that. So again, folks, that 547 uh, price point, that's going to get you guys all of our courses, our chat room, and all of our trade alerts. All right. So that's ttgoffer.com, ttg121 coupon code, click up by code, price drops to 547. Check out. You guys are good to go. Any questions, just text us 1-888-306-8783. Hey, guys, what platform is best for trading futures? I think NinjaTrader is great for trading futures. And NinjaTrader, you can trade with just a, uh, they just have a $500 margin requirement. I think that's fantastic. It's extremely low. That margin requirement used to be in the tens of thousands of dollars. Um, so with just a $500 margin requirement on NinjaTrader, it makes access to futures trading affordable and within reach for people with even small accounts. And a lot of our members have had small accounts. Like after they joined True Trading Group, a lot of our members after they joined TTG only had a couple hundred bucks in their trading account. You know, like here, guys, again, members, members, if you guys joined TTG with less than a thousand bucks in your account and now you're doing well and making money, can you guys just comment and chat what you started with? I just want to prove to people that you don't need tens of thousands of dollars to make money. It's a very common misconception that a lot of people have. So again, if you are a member and you guys have less than a thousand bucks in your account when you first joined, just comment and chat and tell me what you started with when you guys did join. And for people that are on here that are maybe not familiar or maybe are wondering or maybe had that same misconception thinking you need tens and thousands of dollars and you just didn't have the money to start, you guys can just pay attention to some of the comments that you see come through from our members here. So there, hundred bucks there. 500 bucks and it's the best decision I ever made. 500 bucks says Leonard. So you guys can see a lot of our members did this with just a couple of hundred dollars or started at least with a couple of hundred dollars. Mark, 400 bucks, 250 bucks, right? So you guys can see right there, you just need a couple hundred bucks, guys. 500 bucks for gym, right? You don't need tens of thousands of dollars on if you guys to do this. You just simply don't. All right. So there you go, folks. Take advantage of that 547 price point. It's going up to 720. If you have any questions, just text us 1 888 306 8783. Don't forget, you have the W money back guarantee. I don't think you need it. Obviously, I mean, we our refund rate is actually less than two and a half percent. And we have a retention rate of 78%. 78% of our members renew their membership or they've gone on to become lifetime members of our community. And you have to just wonder, you got to ask yourself, why would 78% of our members renew their membership if they weren't doing well? 
right? If you joined the True Training Group right now for 547, you didn't make any money, you learned nothing. Would you renew your membership? I mean, you certainly wouldn't go on to become a lifetime member, would you? So then why do you think that 78% of our members have done that? Circles back to they're making money and they're becoming better traders. And that's the reality. Your goals are not as far as you think. You can do this. You deserve it. Go to ttgoffer.com and use that code TTG121. Only wish I found TTG earlier, says Jim Knox. I'm with you on that one, man. I'm with you on that one. And so are many other so are many other members. A lot of our members, their biggest regret is they just didn't join True Training Group sooner. There's a lot of people out there that are, were skeptical at first. And I completely understand. I completely understand the skepticism. Um, guys, I really do. I completely understand the skepticism because there's a lot of different groups and services out there that actually don't know their ass from their elbow. Um, and they're just really good marketers, but their business is a revolving door and they know that. And that's why they have to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars a month on marketing because when people join, they don't make any money and they leave. Then they need to replace that person in order to keep that revenue. See, us at True Training Group, we are a business. Make no mistake about it. It's 30 employees. We believe that if our members are successful, then our business will be successful because if our members are successful, then they tell their friends or family, their coworkers, they tell them about True Training Group and then they join. And at a 78% retention rate, that's how our community has grown from 100 people in 2017 to now over 10,000 in 115 different countries as I make this YouTube live on March 12th of 2024. Our members are our biggest marketers. And that's why we have a 78% retention rate. Okay. So again, guys, any questions? 1-888-306-8783. All right, folks, take another quick little sip of water. Tony says, hell of a deal. You'll make that money back in a day. Just do it. Like they say at Nike, just do it. All right, guys, let's go back on over to the charts. Let's talk about this channel that we have found ourselves in. Surprise, again, surprising day here today. Um, I did not think the markets were going to get this high on the back of the CPI data that we got, but we sure as hell did. Um, and I, again, it just, it goes back to, I just think that this data that came out today was not enough to make the markets feel that core CPI, that core inflation was really accelerating. Um, the year over year number was less than it was last month. The month over month number was a 10th higher than it was last month, but it was in line with the expectation. So there was no surprise um there on the on the month over month number and i guess that was good enough i would not have thought that that's good enough to get back to 517 but it was not enough to break the technical channel that this market has been in now tomorrow there is no economic data on deck you got the ppi data that comes out on thursday and it looks to me like we're going to probably bump up and try to test the top end of this channel before eventually them pulling pulling ourselves back down and then continuing within this channel range so I'm not looking for us to break out to the upside of this channel. I'm looking for the, the upside of this channel to continue. And I do think that when the time comes that this channel breaks, I do think that the break is going to come to the downside of the channel rather than the top side of the channel. So I do think that we can continue to ride the top end of this upward sloping channel until there's a catalyst that breaks the channel to the downside. What are the catalysts that are coming up that could possibly break channel to the downside? Well, PPI numbers on Thursday. If there's a major acceleration on the PPI number, then maybe the sentiment today kind of changes and shifts a little bit. But then you have the Fed meeting next Wednesday, right? You have the Fed meeting in a week. So with the Fed meeting coming in a week, maybe the dot plot moves. Maybe there's really tough rhetoric from Jerome Powell that makes people feel that maybe June is not even the possibility of a rate cut. Maybe you start looking at, instead of coming into the year expecting six rate cuts, now moving down to around three rate cuts. What if it starts looking like you're only going to get two rate cuts? Um, maybe that is the catalyst that we need to kind of break down the upward sloping channel. I don't know. I don't know where that, these are just potential catalysts that we have coming up throughout the next week that I think the market's going to care very much about. And then you're going to have on next Thursday and this Thursday coming up, the jobless claims numbers. Now, remember, you got a higher than expected jobless claim report last week. You got a major revision in the U.S. labor report 
last week. You got an unexpected increase in the unemployment rate from 3.7 to 3.9 last week. What the market's going to be watching very closely is the correlation between the labor market and inflation. If, see, at, on Thursday at 8.30, you're going to get both numbers at the exact same time. You're going to get initial and continuing jobless claims at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Then you're going to get PPI inflation at 8.30, excuse me, uh, 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Did I say PM? I feel like I just said PM. 8.30 a.m. Eastern, you get the PPI data. Also at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, you're going to get the jobless claims. The absolute worst possible scenario for the market would be a surprise upside PPI report with a surprise weakness in the jobless claims. That, in my opinion, would result in a downward move in the markets. And that downward move would probably last into Friday and give you another red day on Friday if you got that combination of data points at 8.30 on Thursday. Okay. If you get kind of a mixed bag, I think that you probably not enough to break the channel. Right. Probably not enough to break the channel. Um, so I think we're going to be free to trade on technicals tomorrow. And let's just continue to ride this channel, guys. That's it. we we'll are just continue to ride this channel um, to the upside. Seems like it's the little engine that could. It's like what nothing can stop it. Every time it looks like you might break things down, the bottom end of that channel holds. All right. So what I want to do here now is I want to go through and start with you guys the new segment that we started here on this YouTube channel that I, you know, I busted out once in a while and you guys love it every time that I do it. It's called grade my stock. This is a segment on the live stream where I will ask people, Hey, you give me a ticker symbol and I'm going to give it a grade a, B, C, D. I'll give you a grade, my thoughts on it, not as like a day trade, but as a little bit more of a longer term of like a swing trade or a longer term type of hold. And I will give you my reasonings on why I'm giving that grade, whether the A, B, C, D, whatever. Um, and it's a whole hell of a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it. You guys have all told me that you absolutely love doing it. So it is my my pleasure to continue to guys to give you guys my gradings on these stocks and why I like them and why I don't. Okay. So we're going to go through, we're going to do that grade my stock before I do just make sure you guys do know there's 29 of those spots remaining for the 547 price point. You go right to ttgoffer.com. You use the coupon code TTG121. You'll click apply code. The price will drop down to just 547 down from the original 1212 price point drops to 547 for the next 29 people or midnight tonight, whichever one of those two things happens first. All right. You have any questions, you text us 1-888-306-8783. If you guys have any questions, all right? Remember, the price is going to move to 720. You guys can get it right now for 547. It includes our chat. It includes all of our courses. It includes all of our trade alerts, and it includes the mobile app access. So for those of you that are not able to, uh, for those of you that are not able <clears throat> to sit on your computer screen all day long, you guys just use that mobile app and you can follow along with everything that we do during the day. All right. Let's go ahead and do grade my stock. I see Kava. Somebody says Kava. Clary girl. Clary girl, have you ever eaten at a Kava? That's the question. Because I have. Many times. So is my wife. I believe actually that my wife is the reason why Kava made a new all-time high today. Kava's at all-time highs. I'm going to give Kava an A. It is funny, actually, Clary girl, that you had asked me about Kava because I actually had a conversation today with one of my friends about Kava. And um, talking about this is a stock that I think I'm going to, it's not, it's not there yet, but this is a stock I'm going to add to my long-term portfolio in the near future. Um, that's why I'm giving it an A. I'm going to give you an A on, you know, a stock will get an A if it's something that I'm going to, um, that I'm going to be buying with my own money, right? Or something that I want to buy, or I just recently bought, or that I think has, you know, upside or something that's like a, has a long-term spot in my long-term portfolio. Um, meaning it's not something that's coming out of my portfolio soon, meaning it's going to, it's going to be there for a while. Um, so these are, the, those are the type of companies that get, get an A rating. 
I don't have Kava yet in the long term portfolio, but it's 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 going to get a spot. It's going to get a spot. Um, I love the product. Their food is great. Think of think of Chipotle, but for Mediterranean food. That's Kava. Okay, it's Chipotle, but for Mediterranean food. So literally imagine the entire experience that you have at Chipotle, right? Imagine that exact same experience, but just with Mediterranean food. All right. We have to welcome Nicholas. Nicholas, welcome to the TTG fam. That means we're down to 28 of those spots at the 547 price point. Guys, don't forget, if you can't make back the 547 at least one time during the membership, we'll give you back $1,094 for wasting your time. All right. So go to ttgoffer.com, use the coupon code TTG121, click apply code, price drops all the way down to 547. Check out, you're good to go. Uh, Akinola, Akinola, Akinola. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but welcome to the TTG family. 27 spots now. 27 spots left there, guys. Akinola, welcome to the TTG family. Guys, remember, if you have any questions or you used to be a member or you used to be a trial member and you guys want this 547 price point, you have to send a text message. 1-888-306-8783. Also, if you have any questions at all, you can text that number. All right. Okay. So let's talk about Kava. Kava for me, I'm looking at my first entry point, guys, on Kava is going to be back against the the previous all-time high, which is in the mid-50s. Um, that'll probably be the first buy point that I'm going to look for. There's the previous double top all time high. You can see the new extension to the new all time high. And then once this move kind of fizzles out, I'll wait for a pullback and then I'll start to probably start engaging on my first tier entry in here. And if you got like an overall market pullback, um, uh, some point later this year, and this gives you a deeper pullback, I'm going to be a buyer of this in like the mid forties. And this is where I would buy a nice big chunk. And I would stash it in the long-term portfolio and let it sit there for many years. As I believe that Kava has Chipotle, Shake Shack, you know, that type of potential to really increase uh, and grow this brand and grow this chain. I mean, to say Chipotle uh, potential is, is aggressive. I don't think it's, I mean, Chipotle has been an unbelievable monster for a very, very, very long time. I mean, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves to call it Chipotle or it's going to be like Chipotle. But I really think that's the closest thing to you to compare it to. Um, Chipotle has phenomenal management and Chipotle has done an amazing job of controlling costs in an inflationary environment. And not only have they been able to control costs in an inflationary environment, they've been able to very, very carefully, and very meticulously and successfully pass on those higher costs to their consumers without the consumers feeling it, but their bottom line feels it. And it's been a enormous success that Chipotle's management has been able to navigate a high inflation environment while still being able to not drop any in their sales, continue to grow sales, even though they've passed the higher price and the higher cost onto consumers. Chipotle has done that absolutely flawlessly, which is the reason why that stock has made new all-time highs. Right. Uh, Mickey, there is no difference on those coupon codes. All right. There is no difference on those coupon codes. Uh, Ruth, Ruth, that 547 price point, Ruth, what that gets you, that gets you the chat, the mobile app, the trade alerts, the courses, and the study group, right? The video library, that's what that 547 price point is going to get you. All right. So again, ttgoffer.com, TTG121 coupon code. But Mickey, you can use either one. They'll get you the same. They'll give you the same thing. Okay. All right. So that's Kava. All right. So I do like Kava. We're giving Kava in A. NVIDIA. Obviously, every time I do the grade my stock, somebody asks me about NVIDIA. So listen, NVIDIA for me, is an A, not because I'm buying it here. I actually just trimmed my position. My NVIDIA position has gotten very large. Um, from my ad in 2020, 
I'm up 1,500%. So the position had gotten very large. The stock's up 100% in just the last couple of months. So I actually trimmed 15% of my position in the 940s on Friday. So just this past Friday, I sold 15% of my position in the 940s. Um, I have no intention on selling more. I'm just trimming the position. I'm going to allocate the capital elsewhere. And then when if and when NVIDIA pulls itself back, I'm going to look to rebuy those shares somewhere in the 700s. Whether that happens in a month, in six months, whatever, I believe that NVIDIA will be back in the 700s at some point in the future. And then I will be recycling those shares. I'm going to buy those shares right back. I'm actually going to buy more shares because they'll be cheaper or my hope here is that they'll be cheaper and I'll be able to recycle them back. The same amount of capital that I sold with the 15%, I'll be able to buy a lot more shares, 200 bucks cheaper. And I'm just going to cycle, recycle that back and get myself some extra free shares um, uh, with the stock. Okay. So that is what I am going to be doing there with NVIDIA. But NVIDIA is still an A uh, grade for me because it has a permanent home in my long-term portfolio. It has a permanent home in my long-term portfolio. I will never sell this position entirely. Um, the last time I sold this position was October of 2021, and it was about half of my position. Um, I'm probably never doing that again. I bought back, I mean, not because it ended up, it ended up being amazing because we added back um, to NVIDIA in may and june so i'll just go back and show you exactly just on the charts we added to the position heavily in 2020 at 58 dollars. i then sold half of that position in october okay sold half of that position in october of 2021 and then i rebought that position back in may and june of 2022 I actually bought back more um, because it was two chunk ads. And then now the stock is all the way up here at 925. So 15% of that position has now been trimmed right there at, in the 940s. And I'm just going to sit on the rest of that position and I'll look to recycle those shares back if and when we can maybe get into the 700s. The thing about NVIDIA that I find so interesting is that the stock actually, when you look at this, when you look at a stock chart, you're like, oh, the stock's expensive. But when you look at fundamental valuation, it's not. NVIDIA only trades at does anybody know the forward PE for NVIDIA? Just off the top of your head, does anybody know the forward PE for NVIDIA? I'll tell you. It's 36. It's 36. 37. It's 36 or 37. Does anybody want to guess the forward PE on ARM? 97. 97. And AMD is even higher. So when you're looking at, is NVIDIA expensive? Well, as long as they continue their earnings growth that they've been hitting, no, it's not. It's actually not expensive. I can name for you a ton of different, Amazon has a higher forward PE. ARM has a higher forward PE than NVIDIA. So from a fundamental standpoint and from, from earnings and, and from a PE ratio, price to earnings, it's not expensive. 36 times, 37 times for this, for this kind of growth, it's actually not expensive. So... Can the stock continue high? Can you go? Can this thing go to eleven hundred? Sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> Why the hell not? I just had to trim some. I was up fifteen hundred percent in such a short period of time. I just felt like such a pig. I'm like, I got to do something here. So, um, but it's an A on my list because I'm, it's going to be a permanent hold in my long term portfolio. So, what does that mean? A permanent hold. That means Nvidia for me is what Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Microsoft, Meta. What those companies have been for me over the last 15 years, NVIDIA is now one of those companies, which is never sell it, continue to buy more. And if and when markets pull back or if and when the stock pulls back, buy bigger chunks, right? That's what I've done with those tech companies for the last 18 years, right? For the last like 17 years, however long I've been a shareholder of those companies, 
Um, NVIDIA is now that for me. So that's why NVIDIA gets an A. Ooh, SMCI, that's a much tougher one. Um, so I actually don't own SMCI. Um, my biggest semiconductor positions are NVIDIA, AMD, and Broadcom. Those are my biggest uh, semiconductor positions. Okay, so NVIDIA is the biggest by far. Um, then you have AMD is also and Broadcom, AVGO. Okay, so these are um, semiconductor positions. I also own Micron, MU. I do own Qualcomm as well. Uh, these are not as big as AMD, NVIDIA, and Broadcom. Those are the larger positions, uh, but I also do own Qualcomm. I also do own Micron. Uh, we have to have to welcome Jen. Jen, welcome to the family. Everybody welcome Jen. Jen's the newest member of the group. Everybody welcome Jen. So that means we're down to 26 of these spots, guys. All right. 26 of these spots now remain. Everybody welcome Jen, newest member of the group. Guys, again, don't forget, text us with questions. Any questions you have, we're fully transparent. 1-888-306-8783. 547 price point for the whole year. Get you access to our courses, our chat room, the trade alerts. You guys have access to all that for the 547 and a double your money back guarantee. So if you guys are unable to make enough winning trades that equal the 547 membership price at least one time, we will give you back $1,094. Now, the refund policy, the double your money back guarantee is right there in uh, on the checkout page. So go read it. All right. All right. So SMCI. I'm not as crazy about SMCI. I'm not as crazy as SMCI. And, and the reason is this. SMCI, here's what I don't like about SMCI. A lot of you may not know this. Do you know that 60% of their expected sales revenue for the next quarter is going to come from one customer, NVIDIA. What happens if NVIDIA does what pulls an apple? What do I mean by that? What happens if NVIDIA pulls an apple? Well, Apple, over time, as they got bigger and bigger to keep more profit, started developing certain pieces and hardwares and in-house. What happens if NVIDIA, as they go through their growth development over the years, I don't even know what it is exactly that they get from SMCI, to be honest with you. But what happens if NVIDIA starts making those pieces in-house? Or what happens if NVIDIA gets a better deal from another company? That makes me nervous about SMCI. It also makes me nervous. This was a $6 billion market cap company literally a couple months ago. Now it's a 60 something billion dollar market cap company and is now entering the S&P 500. Kind of feels like this company and this stock came out of nowhere. Did they come out of nowhere because of NVIDIA? Would this company be here where it is now entering the S&P 500 up the thousand percent, whatever it is over the short period of time, if NVIDIA was not their customer? And my, my answer to that question is probably not. So that makes me a little bit more nervous about SMCI. That's why I can't give SMCI the same type of rating that I would give NVIDIA. Um, SMCI, um, I don't own it. And it's obviously, I wish I did. I mean, the stock's up a tremendous amount, but listen, you can't own every stock that goes up, right? I mean, you're going to miss, you're not, you're not going to be in every stock that goes higher. Um, 
I love NVIDIA. I'm never going to not be a shareholder. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be buying SMCI. You know, I don't know if I'm, gonna buy, if I'm buying SMCI. Um, thank you, Terry. Right, so Terry, so Terry knows, Terry, that's very useful information, Terry. Thank you very much for sharing this. So guys, so Terry says, SMCI provides a lot of server racks to the industry. When it's time for a tech refresh, the racks and other items SMCI makes don't always need to be replaced. I think their growth has peaked. It's a comment there from Terry Callahan. Terry, thank you very much for sharing that. But so, yeah, that just kind of is where my my concerns lie is so, so heavily um, isolated on one company being your being your um, of your revenue. Right. Or one customer. And I don't, that makes me nervous. All right, so I'm going to give SMCI a B um, just because I'm very bullish on AI in general. So I don't ne- I'm not necessarily bearish on SMCI. It's also being added to the S&P 500. So that's a, a, a big milestone for the company. But I would like to see them diversify their customer base and, and be less reliant on a company like NVIDIA um, in order for me to feel a little bit more comfortable with maybe giving it an A. So this is what we do here. I'm going to give you my grade and I'm going to explain to you why I'm giving you that grade. And you guys can listen, you agree with me or disagree with me, whatever. It's you guys take, take whatever you want from that, that analysis. Novinsky says snowflake. I'm actually glad you asked me about this one because I'm so disappointed in Frank Slootman. So I am a shareholder of snowflake from 11683, I think. Um, I own Snowflake from just underneath $117. It is currently $162. Um, but it was two weeks ago, $230. Okay. Um, they reported earnings two weeks ago. The earnings weren't bad. They actually beat on earnings per share and they beat on sales. But their CEO stepped down. And it was a surprise. It's nothing that was. Um, it's nothing that was, um, expected or discussed previously. Um, I really liked Frank Slootman, who was the outgoing CEO. Now he still, he still will be, um, chairman of the board, but no longer being CEO. I'm not happy about that. Um, when this happened, members asked me if I'm going to buy more, if I'm going to sell. And I told everybody I'm not buying more. Um, I'm also not selling. I'm going to wait and see how this new CEO does. Cause I was actually very bullish on snowflake. If you asked me about snowflake a month ago, uh, which I'm very bullish on snowflake. I actually like snowflake a lot for the long term. but, um, when you invest in a company, you're not just investing in, um, you're not just investing in a product or a service, you're investing in a management team because it doesn't matter how good a company's product or service is if they don't have a competent management team to effectively and efficiently bring that product or service to market, right? And grow the company properly. Just ask Peloton, right? Peloton's management is the sole reason why that company failed. Um, and well, I mean, they're still around, but you know what I mean? 300 something dollars to five, whatever it is. I haven't looked at the stock in a long time. I don't even know where the stock is right now. But, um, and it's not because Peloton's product is bad. I think their product and their service is actually fantastic. But their management team was completely incompetent during COVID. And they thought that the growth they experienced during COVID was going to continue. And that was like their new norm. And they got stuck with a ton of inventory that they could then could not move because they didn't, they couldn't make enough products during COVID. So they just racked up all this inventory because they thought that demand was going to continue. And then all that demand stopped after COVID. And then they got stuck with all this inventory. It became a major, put the company in a major financial problem, major financial bind. And um, and I don't know if the company's ever going to really be able to recover from it. I, I think they're going to be, I think they're an acquisition target. Um, I, don't, I don't know if the company's going to be able to really recover. And I don't think you'll ever see the stock back at the prices that it was at back in 2020 and 2021. Um, 
But with that being said, when it comes to Snowflake, I'm not ready to bail on the company, but I'm not going to add to it. I just want to see how this new CEO does. I'm going to give it a couple of quarters. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait maybe two or three quarters, see how the CEO does, see what the numbers are. And then I'll make a determination if I still want to be a shareholder, if I want to increase my position or if I want to sell it. So for for, for now, because I'm just in, in a, a holding pattern, for now, I'll give Snowflake, I'll give it a C plus. I'll give it a B minus to a C plus because I'm in a bit of a holding period right now. We're not buying it. We're not selling it. We're going to wait and see. Palantir, do you recommend for the long term? Yes, I do. I like Palantir. Um, another stock I actually had a conversation with, with my friend, same friend that I talked to about Kava today. And I am, um, I'm going to be adding exposure to Palantir. Um, probably if we can get back into like the low 20s. I like Palantir and Palantir are starting to do something that I wanted to see them do, which is um, increase their private client base. Palantir is extremely or used to be extremely heavily reliant on government contracts uh, when it comes to their revenue. I want to see them really expand that. And just like with SMCI, they're very reliant on NVIDIA for their revenue. Palantir are very reliant on government contracts for their revenue. I'd prefer to see that expand to more commercial type of uh, or more private client base. And they've started to do that. They actually made mention of that. Um, they made mention of that in their last earnings call. And I like Palantir and I'm very bullish on AI, obviously. Um, and I think that Palantir has, has a lot of potential. I'm not crazy about their CEO, um, but I, I, like, I like what I've seen from the stock. And I think maybe down around 20 bucks or so is a, is a decent spot to, to own some. And I'll ride with Palantir for the next decade or so, and we'll see how that company does. Uh, Micheline, we have to welcome Micheline. Micheline, welcome to the TGD family. That means we're down to 25 spots, guys. So Micheline, welcome. 25 spots now remain. Folks, again, all you got to do is go to ttgoffer.com and use that code, TTG121. Right? You click apply code, the price will drop down from 1212. It drops down to 547. Check out and you're good to go. You have the W money back guarantee. I don't think you need it, but it's there for peace of mind. Okay. You don't need it, but it's there for peace of mind. You can make back the 547 at least once during the membership. We'll give you back 1090, 1097. I'm sorry, 1094. I'm sorry, 1094. That's a W money back guarantee. All right. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. That wraps things up. It concludes this segment of Grade My Stock. You guys like that, right? You guys enjoy this, the Grade My Stock segment. You guys enjoy that? When I do that, I'll, I'll try to do it more often. I feel like you guys really do like when I do, when I do that. So if you guys like that, if you guys enjoy that, I'll, I'll try to do it more often. That does conclude... This segment of Grade My Stock, and that does conclude this live stream. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the stream. Congratulations to members that had a great day today. Again, whether it was short end phase or Boeing, if it was long SOXL or, or Alphabet, if it was zero DTE options on the SPY, or if it was the futures. A lot of great trading went on today inside of TTG and inside of the group. Congratulations again to all of our members that had some nice solid green days. It's been a great start to the week. We got the middle of the week tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be more of a technical trading type of day. No economic catalyst to kind of get in the way. And then Thursday is the big day. Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, you're getting jobless claims and PPI inflation data all at the exact same time. That should be a fun one. All right. So, folks. If you have not yet done so, make sure you go to ttgoffer.com. Remember, what you see on that page is all included for just $547 for the year. When you hit ttgoffer.com, the price will say $1,212. Use this coupon code. You have to manually type it in yourself, TTG121. Click apply code. The price then drops down to 547 
check out you're good to go there's 25 spots left or midnight tonight whichever one of those two things happens first then the price is moving up towards 720. you can get it now for 547. you got the double your money back guarantee so if you can make the 547 back you'll get back 1094. the refund policy is right there on the checkout page go read it yes it's real you have any questions at all if you're used to be a member it used to be a trial and you guys want this deal or you have questions you just have to text us it's very simple 1-888-306-8783 that's 1-888-306-8783 text that number now anything you guys want to know if you're watching this youtube stream afterwards after it's already aired all you need to do when you hit ttgoffer.com, you type in the coupon code TTG121, and if the price says 547 after you click apply code, you're good to go. Just check out. Otherwise, the price is going to be moving up towards that 720, so make sure you guys take advantage of it while you still can. Thanks for tuning in tonight, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Appreciate you all. My TG fam, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow in chat. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. Make sure you never miss out on any of these live streams. I will see you all in chat.